guys. This video is amazing. Actually, I just noticed I have this white hair here. I'm not even sure if I had that before I started this video. I took your questions and I and I to told Shan about them and I read them to her and she answered them. It was, I always say mind blowing. I always say amazing. This is different. She answered your questions. One of them she started answering. I had to actually, it was, I started answer. I started transcribing it. I was in such tears and it got so, it got so graphic. I couldn't, I barely could listen to it. I couldn't transcribe it. And I had, well, you'll see. I mean, this is the most intense video I've ever, ever made. Um, and at the end, we have this adorable Bella, like to take all this intensity away. We have this incredible, adorable Bella. So you got to stay tuned for the Bella. It kind of like reanimates the love in your heart after listening to the pain Shannon went through. A couple of other things uh, that I wanted to talk about. My husband, I was doing this. My husband says, oh, you haven't found that feature yet. I'm like, there's another feature on the ghost box. And there is this little feature that if the frequency uh, um, of the spirit goes into a, where the person's uh, energy can't be picked up on a certain level, it flips. And so the, it goes sort of into a reverse thing. And so it's like in a different mode. So you'll hear it. It's almost like the echo box. Um, so you'll hear it. It doesn't happen that often, but you'll notice it maybe okay hi shan i hope you don't mind remember the session we did yesterday i accidentally screwed it up and i ended up deleting it um trying to compress it i hit the wrong thing and i deleted it uh because i'm a goofball anyway um thank you for coming back and doing it all over again and i think that's really cool and i really 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 appreciate it I know my viewers will really appreciate you answering them again. And I can't tell you how much I thank you. The viewers want to know if, you, if you're if you aware of any of their comments and how you feel about them. Do you see, still go to see Chris in jail and haunt him or bother him? Was Chris ever abusive to you? Was he ever verbally or physically abusive to you or the children? On the same line, did he ever give you any indication that he was capable of murdering your children or murdering you? Was he ever show you anything? Okay, uh, more questions I have. Did you, were you aware he was seeing Nicole Kessinger? We're just going to call, I don't even know if I pronounced her last name right, but we're going to call her NK, okay? Is that all right? And do you know how long he was seeing her? Um, <clears throat> were you aware that she was looking at wedding dresses? They found her computer that she was looking at wedding dresses. Was she at your house the night that you were, I really hate to keep saying murdered to you, but was she there when you were killed? Yes, 
Next question I have, do you think NK knew what Chris was planning or had any part in Chris's plan? Does, did Nicole know that he was going to murder you? Did N.K. know that he was going to murder the children? There was a rumor. Uh, N.K. stayed at your house that weekend and the kids saw him intimate with her or saw him doing something close to that and he was afraid they would tell you and that that's one reason why there was a problem. Is that true? Last time we talked you mentioned something and it either sounded like his father was involved with lawyers or his father was involved with the crime itself. Would you like to clarify that? Um, what about his sister Jamie? Did she have anything to do with the planning? And what are your general thoughts on her? How about Chris's mother? What do you think of her and could she have been involved? It's said in your autopsy, at least from what the reports I heard, said in your autopsy that you had no wounds like you fought back. Uh, you didn't have his skin under your feet, fingernails. Everyone's wondering why. It doesn't make any sense. We all know that you were a spitfire. You would have fought back. But that leads us to believe there was more than just Chris there. Was Chris alone? And if so, how did he manage to hold you down without leaving marks on you? Or were there other people there? You said in uh, one of the videos way at the beginning of our set of our sessions together, you said that Chris had killed before. Can you tell us more about this? Did you know that his parents have forgiven him, not just for killing you, because it's no uh, secret that his parents didn't like you, but also for killing their grandchildren? How do you feel about that? Chris has a new girlfriend. Her name is Anna. Because she's very religious, she supposedly converted him to a religion, and now he is telling people that he's found Jesus and God has forgiven him for the murdering of you and his children, all three. And now he says that since God forgave him, he's going to go to heaven and re be reunited there with you and the children because he's, you know, he's a clean slate. How do you feel about that? Jesus, <laughs> 
not good enough for them. Now I know that you're haunting Chris because you're dry, you know, you're really upset with him. Are you haunting anyone else? Oh, this was a good question. Do you have any projects going, any goals, anything you're working on? You know, anything else that you're doing aside from dealing with this? Anything good that you're working on? Couple more quick questions. The first one is sort of a technical thing. People have asked why your voice doesn't always sound the same from recording to recording, because sometimes my equipment doesn't always make your voice sound exactly the same. Can you explain to people why that is? One more question. Everybody loves to hear a little bit from Bella. Is Do you think it would be okay if we talk to her? Um, I'm going to ask to talk to Bella now. Uh, I hope that's okay. Okay. Hi, Bella. It's Chris. I've come to visit again. Are you there? What you doing? Did you finally get that puppy dog you were talking about? Really? Are you sure you didn't get that rhinoceros? Sweetheart, what is it? What does it look like outside? Are there? Is it an ocean or a lake or grass or a big big mountain or is it something else? Something that something that's magic. Can you fly where you are? What if you climbed a tree? Could you fly like a bird? your sister well it's very nice to see you Bella everyone loves you everyone gives you kisses and hugs okay
Okay, bye bye, sweetheart. Thank you. Bye. Hey guys, didn't I tell you that was an absolute mind blowing thing? Like, absolutely. Did you even begin to think of some of the stuff she said? I just don't even know where to begin with that. I'm going to ask her more questions about things to flesh it out. If you have more questions, if you want something sort of fleshed out about what she said, put it in the comments. I'm going to see if she wants to go with another one. It seems like she loves to do these things. So we'll do another one very soon. And um, do you like the new thing in the spirit box, the new setting where it kind of flips every now and then? That's really cool. I kind of like that. I think it's really cool. Anyway, thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Everybody subscribe. Go post it and ring the little bell so you'll get notifications. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There'll be a new one. Oh, wow. Did you see that light change? I guess I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was the subscribe light. And um, uh, see you later, guys. Love you guys.